so what I want to show you guys is the sun is at a distance of 10,000 kilometers the coordinates of the sun that means the actual distance from your eyes to the sun is a little bit more because if you apply Pythagoras to this you get the longest distance between two points in a triangle that has a 90 degree angle and the 90 degree angle is basically the line from ground level to the sun right there's the 90 degree angle and these are the coordinates where the angle is the coordinates of the sun so the sun is above the Galapagos Islands when you witness a sunset in at Null Island if that was a place or you can just take a boat and go there and then you would witness a sunset so what I drew in into this flat earth map is the range of sunlight almost you know it's just a a close version of it I don't have the exact numbers but this may be the range of sunlight that the sun can actually cover of the earth okay and one thing you have to know is that if the sun is above then the light spreads forth into all directions okay so it comes with a ballish shape also the illumination capacity that's what I'm talking about so while the sun is above earth 6,000 kilometers it illuminates a certain amount of surface and it works very similar like your own perception that it makes a circle on that surface because again the sun has a level in relation to the flat surface so also the sun if you were the eye in the sun you would see the horizon in the same way you see the horizon when you're standing on ground level not exactly the same because you will see a slight curve because of the height of the sun you will see it curving okay but essentially what the sunlight covers is the small portion that is circular of the earth's surface okay but remember or what I just told you that if you put yourself into the shoes of the sun and you put your eyes there right then also the sun even though it's 6,000 kilometers in the air up in the sky altitude it still has a horizon which matches its height its altitude just like you standing at the beach and increasing your height the horizon line will go with you eye level and the sunlight is basically the same with your eye the emitting sunlight is the inversion of the absorbing eyes your perception but it's essentially working in the same way so um, the sunlight has also illumination capacity that means the further the photons that the sun is emitting go away from the sun the further they move apart the further they grow apart because they move in a straight line almost perfectly straight line right if you remove refraction so they go in a straight line there is one line going into one direction then there is another line already with an angle going into another direction that means the further they go into distance on their respective tracks the further these two lines move apart so at some point while to the sun they were still very close together at a distance these two particles of light they are called photons will have moved apart very far and this is linked to illumination capacity because to illuminate things surfaces there must be a lot of light coming together if there are just a few photons hitting the surface it's not gonna be illuminated if you for example have any light source in your room and you hold it close then there will be some sort of spotlight even right and then when you move it further away further away further away then maybe the whole thing gets highlighted just take a paper or something then the whole paper is highlighted but at some point 
the illumination capacity decreases of that light source and only a few photons will hit the paper, that surface, and the brightness will decrease. The further you take that paper away from the light source, the more the brightness will decrease and eventually you will find it in complete darkness because these photons may reach to the paper still but only individually right and very far apart this is basically why brightnesses are different according to the distance that objects are towards the sunlight or towards any light source if you go close to a fire campfire then you're being highlighted and your front side will be bright but the further you go away the further you move away the more your your front side will be darkened okay and even though you can still see the fire you can still see light coming into your eyes it will be just a few photons of this light that is why you can say okay you can tell there is a light but it's not illuminating your front side anymore that is a very important understanding the same with the sun okay so you have the sun that is illuminating the surface underneath it in a circular way and it's basically illuminating strongly and brightly the circle but anything that goes beyond that circle decreases in brightness that's where you have twilight coming in okay when you can't see the sun anymore you still have some sort of twilight right but the surface itself that you're standing on will not be illuminated anymore because the sun has set or has gone beyond the horizon beyond your respective horizon and then again if you put yourself into the shoes of the sun the sun itself has a horizon that is also what creates then why it cannot just illuminate the whole earth because again the sun also has its respective level above the earth above the flat earth level which then creates perspective and I showed you that the higher you go away from the surface of the earth the more drastically this curvature becomes that you witness at the horizon but the surface of the earth still stays flat but what is being illuminated very brightly by the sun is being circular, curved. Because again, the sun also has its respective location above flat earth. That means to all directions, it's emitting light. Just as you absorb things with your eyes to all directions. And there is a certain distance to that. And if you turn your head, if the sun turns, so to say, its eye, if you want to imagine it like that, then it also does a circular shape. Okay. The side view of this, to make you understand it a little bit more, you have this blank ground. So this is the flat surface, side view. Okay. Then you have the sun above it, which is 6,000 kilometers above it. And the way the sun would perceive Earth from its respective place with height and all the distances involved the coordinates basically works the same as we perceive reality but obviously sun is not perceiving something sun is emitting light but due to its respective location it is also bound to these laws of perspective although itself it's not perceiving anything it's emitting light while we on the other hand we are perceiving things but we when we witness then these laws of perspective that i explained you in the other video but just transpose or translate the things that we perceive with our eyes to the sun as if the sun would also perceive its surroundings but then instead of perceiving it's actually emitting it's not absorbing which is perception absorbing but it's emitting light okay but it works the same way with the same perspective laws so it's above this flat surface 6000 kilometers in the air and this is the circle of illumination that is 
in truth not actually a limited circle but for this understanding it works okay but in truth you have to realize that there is no limit to light so to say but there is a decrease in the capacity of illumination that is going on that i explained you before so from side view you realize okay this circle would actually go way beyond the surface of the earth right but because the earth is cutting that circle that is why this part of the earth is brightly highlighted like a spotlight right and where the circle of the sun's illumination meets with the earth's surface this would be sort of the horizon of the sun if you were in the shoes of the sun then you're shooting for a flight and you can only go to your respective horizon right because well light just shoots forth shoots forth but if there is a horizon rising up rising up rising up it cannot go any further than that the light because there is a barrier a material barrier between the two due to perspective okay in reality the ground is not lifting off as i explained you also in the other video it stays flat but due to perspective it creates a barrier which is very interesting to know because the sun has a certain location and it's then turning or revolving on an orbit above earth above that surface and that part of the surface that is close to it will be illuminated very brightly as you can see here so coming back to the flat earth map and where i painted in the circle now from top view again you can tell how it all creates this illusion of living on a ball right if you take that circle that i painted here around the sun and you just cover the rest of the earth with your hand then you see that it looks like okay it's america and brazil latin, latin america it's on a ball right but just because it's a circular shape that comes with perspective and it creates this illusion of a ball again it's the the way we perceive reality that is ballish although everything has its respective level in reality but because we perceive reality in a certain way one might think they live on a ball when the truth is that there are levels okay and the sun has its respective level and it's revolving around the center point which is the north pole and it's revolving around it on an orbit and this creates day and night and while it's not covering all the parts of the earth it's really just covering its own circumference of perception if this if the sun could perceive like our eyes do or we just put a camera onto the sun like around the sun we would see that the sun also has its respective horizon okay which is earth's surface looking like it has risen up to its level to the same level of the sun and the sun is 6000 kilometers above that surface but at the end of this horizon it looks like the ground has risen up to the sun's level which is an illusion right it's this perceived reality that i'm talking about and the sun is also exposed to these laws same laws because it's about perspective and about where objects are within his creation and this is an illusion okay 
then and it looks like it's ballish although everything has its respective level and yeah the ball is basically the, a trick that is being played on your visual first hand you know there's a natural deception to our way of perceiving reality of perceiving flat surfaces there is a natural deception that we think okay at some point we can't see any further there's our horizon so it must go down beyond that or like there must be a curve where where it's like curving away or something but this is just the perceived reality which seems ballish it looks like we're living on a ball when it's not true it's a trick and all these theories about heliocentric model and ball earth they are sourced from this very first deception <laughs>